Hello everyone, I'm Joseph Giraputo, the President and Editorial Director of Global Finance. I'm speaking from New York. I'll be joined by Victoria Haverson, Global Head of Business Development, SmartStream Air in Singapore. SmartStream is a recognized leader in financial transaction management solutions with artificial intelligence and machine learning technologies embedded. In our June issue, we named SmartStream the outstanding financial innovator in the fintech sector. They won a second award for Outstanding Innovation in Payments for their TLM Aurora Digital Payments Control product. Victoria, welcome. I'm glad you could join us. Yes, thank you for having me. One of your company's latest innovations is SmartStream Air, which uses artificial intelligence and cloud-native technology to optimize data management. What is SmartStream Air and what makes its technology unique? Okay, um, so very good question to um, kick off with. I think we probably um, have to quickly address why we, we built the product really before we approach kind of what, what SmartStream Air is. Um, the problem statement, and this focuses very much on data and, and the reconciliation use case, is pretty much the same across the entire landscape of our industry. And that, that problem statement is that data that we have to process is non-standard, it's messy, even when it's uh, structured, uh, an ultra high, high sort of growing volumes uh, of data, they need processing and managing and you have regulations, you have new data types, the way that we are now supposed to interact with data, uh, even in the last two years with the pandemic, it's made data management, you know, even harder and the typical approach in financial markets in the sort of middle and back office is to use people um, spreadsheets and potentially uh, what we would consider point solutions that don't really interoperate or talk to each other very well and they take they tend to take um, each data problem and solve it differently and the more traditional models they're quite expensive they're time consuming um, they carry a lot of risk especially when it comes to uh, lots and lots of human touch points and I think frankly it's quite a, a boring job for a lot of people to be doing when they can be adding a lot more value um, or intellectual capital elsewhere and the desire in our markets in this space is just to have individuals actually deal with the issues in the data and investigate the breaks and the errors not to actually do the data reconciliation and, and all that work and, and maintain those processes themselves so SmartStream Air, to your question, it's our solution to that problem. And we launched it just a few years ago with the latest in, in cloud native microservices, AI technology. Uh, we're empowering any sort of end user to take control of any format of structured data and basically use AI to fully analyze that data and get immediate results. So we're talking about taking raw data, giving it to SmartStream Air, clicking on a button and getting results measured in seconds and minutes and there's no sort of IT projects or upfront analysis needed. So that's the basic sort of proposition of the product. How is SmartStream Air a revolutionary solution for the financial industry's data challenges? So uh, business-wise, I think we have definitely uh, dominated the reconciliation uh, solution space in financial operations for about 40 years now. We, we really know the space well and with SmartStream Air we wanted to very much start from scratch, go fully cloud native, take our knowledge of the customer's challenges um, and we, we wanted to make sure we covered every base to make sure that this really was revolutionary, um, as you mentioned. Um, firstly, I think we have a technical architecture, this is the first thing to mention, that is schema free and it's agnostic to data types. So the message here is to give the customer the ability to take lots of messy data sets pretty much do nothing with them. You don't need to clean them up or normalize them or anything like that. You can just upload them to the solution. And we can do that. Multiple formats, multiple data sources all at the same time, uh, in real time as well. And the next step is 
give the task of identifying the shapes and the patterns and the structures of the data to AI and let the AI match the data sources for you. So some uh, way that I explain this often is like shaking multiple uh, packs of playing cards all out on the floor and the AI will group and combine the cards or essentially what are data records for you. And um, this, th that process is unique. You, you don't need to understand the data or, you know, the, the end user doesn't even need to, to really get what they're supposed to do with the data. The AI will, will, will understand it for you. So the end user doesn't need to build the reconciliation solution. Uh, in that sense, uh, or the, the reconciliation process rather. And the way we design the UI um, it ensures that we show the user why and how the AI matched the data it did. So you then have plenty of confidence that it, that it works and you trust it. Um, you also have this human in the loop sort of process and you can have full user intervention to change results and to iterate on the actual reconciliation process. And like I said, this is all done in real time as well. So as the data comes in, it's a streaming service. Unlike anything else on the market, it will it will reconcile each data record as it hits the system, not, not in any sort of batch um, way, unless you set it to be a batch reconciliation. And with digital payments, that industry in particular exploding and the volumes growing, real time is, is a very cool feature to have. And I think the last thing to mention as well is the delivery model. So we're being very, very efficient with the delivery model. It's only a software as a service cloud native product. Um, and this makes uh, a subscription annual sort of license model. Uh, it makes it very easy for any customer to consume this type of technology. Just switch it on, use the service um, all on a, on a usage basis. So that's a very uh, attractive model for, you know, sort of modern markets, I would say. What is SmartStream's innovation lab and how is it essential in the development of SmartStream AR? The Innovation Lab, it's our incubation function and I would say that it very much embodies all of the disruptive innovation in the company and to make an Innovation Lab really work, I think you need to create a solution or components within that uh, lab that represent new lines of business and they improve performance in a certain market by 10x. So. This isn't an area for us to sort of experiment. It's, it's where we scale our next big sort of franchise. And we really are doing this with data reconciliation and with SmartStream Air. So the labs are based in Vienna. It's where SmartStream Air was originally designed and built. And it's where the data scientists are based. The innovation labs, they've, they've taken the, the latest and most flexible technologies and built Air with a few key features. So. Just to summarize a couple of what these and what they are, um, these will be supervised and unsupervised learning, uh, all available in the solution, which gives the AI the ability to train itself on data it expects and data it's never seen before. And this builds AI models to predict future outcomes or identify how the data is designed to be grouped and matched. Um, in the data reconciliation process, this is really crucial. Uh, it means you can throw data at SmartStream Air, Air does the reconciliation build for you. Um, and by doing this, you know, you can have your people just focus on investigation of errors where they appear. And the other major feature uh, in the labs that we focus on is observational learning. So here we allow the user to interact with the data, to make changes, um, maybe bespoke to their data or a particular regulation and they know that they need to match certain pieces which is quite unusual and if the AI sees you do that it will it will learn from from that behavior so um, that's observational learning which will learn from the manual interventions that you make and it's a bit like a sort of flywheel effect where the more you interact with the data the more data air gets to process the better the model learns the more productivity and time saves that that the customer can make so that's essentially what we're, what we're working on and, and the real value in, in the labs. In today's rapidly evolving fintech market, what's next on SmartStream's innovation agenda? 
So the fintech market, as you probably know, is undergoing a widespread disruption. And we're a global enterprise. You know, we need to keep on top of the next big wave um, in data management technology. And our focus has been on essentially making sure we're horizontal across markets and use cases, I would say, um, making sure we can be applicable in data reconciliation to, to lots of different markets and use cases. And that being said, um, we continue to invest in the innovation lab and want to stay um, really focused on not getting distracted from the AI strategies we're building. Um, AI works really well when you've got a robust cloud deployment model which we continue to invest in and we have we have that with SmartStream Air, a cloud native model. So um, what I mean by you know AI really works with this model in contrast is that if you deploy AI just on installed in solutions you may not necessarily be able to learn from as much data as you can on high volume cloud data sets. So we continue to invest in, in cloud um, and information security with partners like AWS and Azure. And um, something else that we're doing that you won't really find anywhere else is that whilst we give the user a fantastic AI result, um, we provide that user alongside the, the um, AI results. We provide them with a user interface that allows them really full transparency. So by this, I mean the design of the U UI actually shows you every step of why the AI performed the way it did, what records it used, um, and even the sort of level of confidence it has that it, that it got that match record right. Um, so we're investing a lot in that sort of transparency piece because that's very important that our customers um, are confident in the AI. Um, what else can I share? Next year, you will see um, exception management workflows, which will be fully automated with AI. And we've got a few uh, data quality and data structure uh, services being planned. So it's going to be a very exciting year for the labs, I think. Victoria, this was very interesting. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Joseph.